But we blew this thing a long time ago when they started the purge against communism in this country and against the voice of those who saw hope in a, a design for socialist theory and for the sharing of wealth and for the equality of humankind. Uh, when we abandon our visual, our, vis uh, our vision and vigils on that topic, I think we sold out ourselves. Uh, a group of young black students in Harlem just a few days ago asked me what at this point in my life was I looking for. And I said, uh, what I've always been looking for, where resides the rebel heart? Without the rebellious heart, with about people who understand that uh, there's no sacrifice we can make that is too great to retrieve that which we've lost, we will forever be distracted with possessions and trinkets and title. And I think one of the big things that happened was that when black people began to be anointed by the trinkets of this capitalist society and uh, began to become big time players and began to become heads of corporations, they became players in the game of our own demise. Hi, my name is Harry Belafonte. I'm an artist and I'm not a politician. But like most Americans, I have a great interest in the political and the economic destiny of my country. I'm seated here with Senator Jack Kennedy. As a Negro and as an American, I have many questions, and I'm sure everyone does, about civil rights, about foreign policy, about the economy of the country, and about things that'll happen. And I want to make it very clear, Harry, that on this question of equality of opportunity for all Americans, whether it's in the field of civil rights, better minimum wages, better housing, better working conditions, jobs. I stand for these things. The Democratic Party under Franklin Roosevelt stood for them. I'm voting for this, Senator. How about you? Black tarantula. <laughs> they like gum and they want to go. 